see you in the lead chest list. D4, C5, D5. Yeah, so we might get a Benoni now. Depends what black does. Takes knight c3. Yeah, and there's a lot of different setups I can do here. If you want to be really sharp, you can go e4, f4. But not right now. We'll do e4. Bishop e7. So usually in the Benoni, the bishop goes here to control this diagonal. Here, though, how do I want to play this? I do want to play f4 soon. Let's just move the bishop out. And again, I'm going to try and be greedy for the soup center and ask black what they intend to do about it. With the bishop on g7, there's this... There's a clever tactic with b5, but here that doesn't work, unfortunately. Yeah, b5 here I can take, and I've got support from the knight. So knight fd7. Okay, let's just keep developing. Six, control it with a4. And I mean, again, you can see, look what these pawns are doing to black. Right? All the squares they're taking away. And if your opponent does some, some system of development you're not sure how to handle, just, I mean, follow these principles. Go for the center, get the pieces out. And now the question is, when to strike with e5? Actually, just to restrict a little more. I don't want to allow this trade, so I'll just play h3. The other knight comes to g7. Now I'll go e5. And you can see, right? They're all stuck in this tiny box. Look up. What's the way to do this? I really want this bishop to contribute somehow. So how do I do that? Actually, I like this. So I have an idea. So d6 is under fire. Ah, now I can take it. Do I want to, though? No, I think I'll leave it as is for the moment. And just bring my bishop out. Um, I've played, I've played a few 2200s and some 2000s. I'll be happy to accept another 2000 if they come up. Most of the challenges I'm getting are from people under 2000, though. So, yeah, you have to be a bit careful here. Watch out. You always have to watch out for this b5 break in the Benoni. Make sure you have something ready for it. But here I think I'm prepared to handle it. Turn up. And the bishop comes out. I want to bring the queen up here, and that gives me mating ideas. And actually, what is black doing after queen c3?
So e6, there's knight f6, which still looks very good for me, but actually e6, so bishop, I can take on f7. d6 also wins material. Let's do it this way, actually. d6. And up it takes, and now the queen's attacked and mate is threatened. Rook e5 covers the mate, but I'll take the queen. And now it's just a matter of breaking through. Take, this is double check. Check. Good game, Marvel. And again, I mean, you can see what these pawns are doing to black. It's a recurring theme. 